What I'd like to do right now is show you a Kung Fu Sansu lesson and how we can apply that lesson to stop a wrestler or a Jiu Jitsu Judo guy from taking us down. A lot of the takedown counters involve knowing wrestling. This lesson right here, you don't need to know anything about wrestling and it's quite effective. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the traditional way to do it and then a modified way using focus mitts to give you the feel of striking a target. So we're gonna start from, both of us are in a fighting position. We're gonna assume that, you know, we both got in the position because we know we're gonna fight instead of just staying here, acting like waiting for them to punch us in the face. So we're in a fighting position, right? I'm gonna play the part of the wrestler and my student is gonna do the Sansu lesson. So the way it's gonna work is, the lesson is this. He's gonna throw a left jab, a right cross. I'm gonna try and grab that front leg because I'm a wrestler. As I come in, I'm simulating just to touch his knee so he has to move. Obviously, this is not a proper takedown. It's just something to get him to move his leg. So as he steps back, he's gonna immediately follow up with a left uppercut, a right hook, and then a knee and drop it back. So now he's in the opposite position again. And then we'll repeat this drill. So from here, now he can practice the other side. He is gonna throw a right punch, a left punch. Then I'm going to grab the lead leg because that's like bait for me. He wants me to grab that leg. As I go to grab it, just the simulation of touching. Remember, I'm not really doing a takedown at this point. I'm just trying to clap my hands together. If I can clap my hands together, then that means he's moved out of the way. If I clap and his knee is between, that means he didn't move fast enough. From the stepping back with the knee, he's gonna follow up with this uppercut, the hook punch, the knee, stepping back, and now he's in the beginning position, just like we started. So if we were to do it a little more realistic, we're here. He's gonna go jab, cross, I do the takedown, I miss. Now look where my head is, it's right here for him to uppercut me, standing me tall, hooking me, and now I'm here, and then that knee is gonna come into my head, hitting me, taking me down. All right, so we'll do it one more time. We'll go a little bit faster. So we're here, he's gonna go jab, cross, I try and grab the knee, right? He uppercuts, hooks me, and there's the knee again, right? Even in the scramble, once I miss his leg, I'm probably gonna still try and drive forward. So that's what the uppercut is designed for, to stop that scramble, right? Nobody's punch proof, and everyone has a plan until they get hit, all right? So once again, we're here. He's gonna go jab, cross, right? Doesn't matter if I step, but if I step with this leg and go, he's gonna step back, I'm missing it, uppercut, hook, and the knee strike again. Another option that could happen is maybe I'm quick and he moves that leg and I go for the other leg. Then he just steps back again and then fires the uppercut. So watch, he's gonna go jab, cross. I step to take the leg down, right? Now before he punches, I say, oh, there's that leg. As I go to grab that, he moves away. Now he fires his uppercut, his hook, and his knee. All right. So in the process, you might do three or four steps backwards with the pads on now so that we can simulate hitting something and getting a little resistance. Remember, when I grab his leg, I wanna do that, right? That way I can go faster. Keep your knee right there. If he doesn't move his knee, and look, I know I have him and it's not hurting him. Whereas if I were to smack him here, he's not gonna wanna be my partner after 10 times of that. So, we're gonna go with the jab cross, right? I go to grab, he moves it, now he can uppercut, hook it, and boom. Right, and now he can start firing and putting some power and energy into the moves, right? I like doing it both ways, a traditional dynamic tension way in Sansu and then also striking a pad. You know, it's just more tools in your toolbox. Sometimes the job requires a hammer, sometimes it's a screwdriver. So this gives us those options. So again, he's gonna go a little harder, right? There's this nice good jab cross. I'm gonna really try and grab his leg now fast. I might grab it, I might not. As you can see, I'm here now He's gonna fire his uppercut, his hook, and boom. If the guy gets up after you hit him with all that and that knee and that face, the only lesson I know now is to turn around and run as fast as you can.